Encyclopedia Britannica documents that in 1845, a young doctor in Vienna named Dr. Ignace Semmelweis was horrified at the terrible death rate of women who gave birth in his hospital. As many as 30% died after giving birth. Semmelweis noted that doctors would examine the bodies of patients who died, then without washing their hands, go straight to the next ward to examine expected mothers. This was their normal practice because the presence of microscopic diseases was unknown. Simowitz insisted that doctors wash their hands before examinations and the death rate immediately dropped to 2%. Look at the specific instructions God gave his people for when they encounter diseases. And when he that has an issue is cleansed of his issue, he shall number to himself even days for his cleansing and wash his clothes and bathe his flesh in running water and shall be clean. Now, now wait a minute, when was this written? The book of Leviticus was written between 1440 and 1400 BC. Even in 1845 when Dr. Ignace came up with his theory to start washing hands, many doctors thought it was ridiculous. And even as recently as a hundred years ago, doctors would wash their hands in bowls of steel water, leaving invisible germs on their hands. In today's world, it's just common knowledge. Wash your hands in running water to kill all the germs. A modern day doctor would, wouldn't even think of washing his hands in a bowl of steel water before he went to operate on somebody. So the question is, how did any man living thousands of years ago in 1400 BC know to write to wash your hands in running water to get them clean? The answer is there's no way any man would know that. No way, unless an all-knowing God told him to write it. You see, the Bible isn't just some fairy tale book that a bunch of old guys wrote a few thousand years ago to try to scare us modern day folks. The many scientific facts that are in the Bible are proof. But tune in next time when I'll talk about how the Bible said the world was round when everyone said it was flat. Y'all take it easy.